What's up guys, this is Ben Spade. I'm gonna do an awesome interactive card trick that I saw a performer do on YouTube. I just couldn't help myself. I have to do this effect to you guys. This is an interactive trick. You do this trick with me. And through the power of suggestion, I will be able to force a certain outcome, what you're doing with the cards right now. So pause the video, go get a deck of cards and come back. All right, so hopefully you didn't get distracted while you're getting your cards. I want you to take your deck of cards, and verify that they're all different. Now what I want you to do is mix them up. Shuffle them in any way you know how. You can shuffle them as many times as you want. You can have your brothers, your sisters, your aunt, your uncle, your great aunt, or your great uncle shuffle them, but no older than that. All right, I think that's about good. What I want you to do is go through the deck and pull out your uh, a four of a kind, your favorite four cards, as long as they're all the same. Mine are the twos, so I'm gonna pull out all the twos. Any four of a kind you want. Great. Now that you have your four of a kind, deal out any 20 cards from any position in the deck. You can deal out any 20 cards. I'm just gonna do them off from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Take the remaining cards, get rid of them. You don't need them. These are your 20 cards that you're going to use. Mix them up so even you don't know the order of them. Give them a good thorough mix. All right, now what you're going to do, spread out the cards in any way you know how. You're going to take each of your four of a kind card and place them anywhere face up in the deck. As long as they're not touching, this should be all right. So place them into random spots face up in the deck. It can be anywhere. Keeping them in those positions, Close the deck and square everything up. So now if we were to look at it, we've got the four of a kind in random positions. All right, first thing I want you to do is give the cards a cut. You can cut to anywhere. Now what you're going to do is you're going to deal the cards down in a special way. You're going to deal the first card down, then the next card you're going to flip over. The next card goes down, and the next card flips over, and so on and so forth. So from here we go down, flip, down, flip, down, flip. Down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, down, and flip. All right, so now we have the cards really mixed up. If you want, you can turn the deck over. You don't have to. I'm going to. You don't have to if you don't want to, but you can flip them over. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give you a little more freedom. You can choose this time if you want to flip them or put them down, but you're going to do two cards at a time. So take the top two cards, you can either put them down or flip them over. I'll put those down. Take the next two cards, I'll flip these over. And so on and so forth. It's your choice. As long as you do two at a time. Either flip them over or put them down. It does not matter. Just like that. All right, good. Now, pick up your deck. We're going to do it again. This time with four cards, four cards at a time. So one, two, three, four. You can either put these down or flip them over. Put them down or flip them over. Just like that. And the remaining four cards, I'll put them down. All right, hopefully you're done with that now. Pick up the deck and you're gonna divide it into two piles, one card at a time. Take the top card, put it here. Top card, put it here. See what I'm doing? Going back and forth until all the cards are gone. Just one at a time, one at a time, back and forth. Just like that. You should have 10 cards in each pile. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a book. You're gonna make a book closing it up. You can either take this packet and flip it over onto here, take this packet and flip it over onto here, just like it was a book. Close the pile. Good. Now, through the power of suggestion, by what I've been saying, I'm actually able to force you to do a certain thing with your hands and the deck of cards. I actually made you rotate them and shuffle them in the way I wanted. Now the power of suggestion never fails because when you spread through the cards, you should get the same effect as I do. We have four cards that are facing the opposite direction and four cards only. This is the power of suggestion.